I want to do this brief video for everybody because I had somebody contact me and, and ask me about this. And this has to do with the frogs, the spirit of the frogs, the unclean spirit spoken of in Revelation chapter 16. I'm going to use this under the Fair Use Act, but this has to do with the false prophets. So there are many false prophets in these times that are very important to the common everyday Christians, but there is the one pro false prophet that is extremely relevant because this one is the high intellectual prophet. He's the main one that I have to deal with. And I'm not going to go into great detail as far as he relates, but I'm going to show you who he is. And the relevance behind this is he is the, the one that these principalities in high places listen to. He is their prophet. And the battle that is going on between me and him is to prove that the scripture is the only truth versus his belief that he is a high intellectual person that can prophesy an event based on his own concepts and knowledge of things. And one of the things that was disproven and why this last election cycle was important was it disproved what he had been teaching these high intellects, these principalities in high places, because again, he's the one that counsels them as far as the, the policies and their show, their big show of what they need to do. So he had taught them... Uh, this intellectual concept of top-down versus bottom-up authoritarianism. This is, and I'm like, again, I'm not going to go into great detail with this because, uh, again, it's very high intellects uh, concepts. So, but I'm going to let you hear what he has to say and show you how it relates uh to Revelation chapter 16 about the the spirit, these unclean frog spirits. Pay close attention. Again, I'm using this under the Fair Use Act. And he is the one, just like there are many antichrists, but there's the main antagonist. There are many false prophets, but he is the main antagonist. He is the main one. Listen closely. Sensation. What's next for you? Like, I'm trying to figure your, figure out, are you are you the next Marshall McLuhan? Are you the next Billy Graham? Like, are, are you a, a prof? Or are you Billy a, McLuhan. <laughs> I don't know. What's next, really? So you're a prof, prophet? Well, <laughs> well, you know, we're in, a, we're in a new world in many ways because of the reach of social media. And so I have this immense multimedia platform and I don't know exactly what to do with it. I mean, what I'm doing right now with it is. Notice what he's talking about, this new world, and how she's discussing about him being a prophet. He is the high intellect and the counsel to these principalities in high places. He is the one that they truly listen to. They truly listen to his counsel, but this is why Romans chapter 1 verse 22 is important. That these men who believe themselves wise will be proven to be fools with their high intellect. Here's more. This is all very important and very relevant. Multimedia platform, and I don't know exactly what to do with it. I mean, what I'm doing right now with it is making videos that I think are useful to people, interviewing people that I think are interesting to talk to. But I'm sort of shaping this as it's developing because there's no way of predicting it. And the, the, the overwhelming likelihood, as far as I'm concerned, and it's been this way ever since September of 2016, is that this will go terribly wrong. That's the most likely outcome. I've known that ever since I made those what videos. What do you mean by that? 
How would it go wrong? Oh, well, things go wrong all the time. You know, I no, say something. What, what are you afraid of? Saying something inappropriate. Well, you said lots of things that have made people angry. That's not the same thing. So wh why would you say something inappropriate? Because people make mistakes. Mm. And so, like... So what was important in that clip is that notice he's saying how he's shaping it as he goes along. But he also states that there's no way of predicting it. But actually, in actuality, there is a way of predicting all things. It's called the Bible. So what he's counseled these leaders on is that he could he has more knowledge to shape things, but it's unpredictable. But if you know your scripture, and this is why the Bible is the only truth, because it has predicted everything with 100% accuracy, which goes further to prove that what I had previously mentioned, Romans chapter 122, verse 22. Wise men will be proven to be fools. Here's more. This is all very important. Pay close attention to what he's saying. Picture of you with... Behind the pet, that is that you? I mean, it's you. I mean, that's an actual <laughs> yeah, that's photo. Now, there is the unclean frog spirit, but more importantly, look at the gentleman on the left is in his symbol, what he's holding up. Notice that symbol, the 666. There's the unclean spirit, but pay attention who this group is. This group that he's associated with is extremely important. Did that? So this is the this is the Pepe flag, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you know is seen by the left as a hate symbol. And yeah, and, well, the, see, the left sees it, all sorts of things as hate. But symbols. it's used by the extreme right as a, a way of spreading messages. It's been it's seen as an alt right symbol. It's this mostly, is this mostly. is an alt right hand symbol. And here you are. It's mostly used by young men who are poking and causing trouble on social media. That's mostly what it's used for. But you're supposed to be anti-chaos and anti-provocation. I'm just wondering why you would choose to be in this photo. Well, I... He uh, admits these are ones that are poking uh, trouble, looking for trouble, stirring up. Remember everything that I taught you about stirring up the people, stirring up the waters, what the Leviathans do. Remember, Revelation chapter 17, the waters are not literal waters. They're the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues. And the Leviathans from Job chapter 41, how they stir up the waters. Their job is to stir up the waters when God wants you to be still. And he leads you to the still waters. Here's more. Pay attention to everything he's saying very closely. I'm not going to go if you want to ask me a question as it relates to this. I'll try to answer it. But again, this is, this is deeper than I can really explain to you the things that are happening with this. What's happening with this particular symbol and why it's occurring? Then there's a two-hour discussion about that. Richard Spencer wears a pep. He's a white supremacist. He wears the Pepe symbol. It's become adopted. I'm sure you know this by by the far right. And here you are, holding up a flag like it's it's a joke. So I just wonder if if it could be misinterpreted by people that you're trying to send a message that Pepe's cool well, and the alt right's cool. I think it has been misinterpreted. I didn't know when. Listen to this next clip. This is all very relevant. This is the unclean spirits, the frogs spoken of in Revelation 16. And he is the main false prophet. Uh, this is a tweet that you said, out, Keck Boys, which is kind of like Ooh. another... Pay attention to that. That's important. The Keck Boys. Go back to the Egyptian history and find out who Keck the, the frogs, the unclean spirit, these are the kick boys. Now listen to this. Pay close attention, very close attention to what he says. 
Uh, it's something that's been adopted by the extreme right code, Pepe. So yep. you are, you're using this to reach these people. Yeah, well, are, I can tell you about that. Yeah, well, because you want, this, sure. this is your... He's using this to reach these people. Of course, right? So you want yeah, them to, program. I to want take them, your course. I want them to plan their futures as responsible individuals. What does it say? Tech boys, trapped in chaos, seek your fortune, right? Don't stay in the underworld. That's why I'm talking to them. I'm trying to call them forth as individuals out of the chaos that they're ensconced in. So that's you're what helping that's them, for. but they're helping you too. You raise a lot of money. Well, what do you think? What do you think should happen in this polarized world if you're dealing? He's trying to call them forth out of the underworld, out of chaos. I'm going to play that again so you can pay close attention. Listen to the language. Very important, people. Listen to the language again. I can't impress enough on you. Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. It is in the tongues, the language, the waters and the language that's being used. Listen closely. It's, uh... This is a tweet that you sent out, Keck Boys, which is kind of like mm -hmm. another Pepe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that's been adopted by the extreme right code Pepe. So yep. you are, you're using this to reach these people. Yeah, well, are, I can tell you about that. Yeah, well, because you want, this, sure. this is your course, right? So you want yeah, them it's a to, program. I to want take them, your course. I want them to plan their futures as responsible individuals. What does it say? Keck Boys, trapped in chaos, seek your fortune, Right. Don't stay in the underworld. That's why I'm talking to them. I'm trying to call them forth as individuals out of the chaos that they're ensconced in. That's so you're what helping that's them, for. but they're helping you too. You raise a lot of money. Well, what do you think? What do you think should happen in this polarized world if you're doing? Very important. Who Keck is, and all the things. There's a lot going on with this, especially right now, and especially over in Asia in China and Japan with Kek, with Pepe the Frog, who is Kek from ancient Egypt, this frog spirit. Very important, everything. So again, there's a battle that's occurring, and I keep things very simple on this channel, but I do things, and there are things, and I speak with other people that I don't discuss on this channel. This channel is to keep things simple as far as it relates to the everyday false prophets that exist and some of the everyday events that occur that I can show you as it relates to the scripture to know that the scripture is the only truth that exists. This is why he is a false prophet. He clearly said that it cannot be predicted when in fact it can be predicted. The Bible has predicted it because it is the only truth. And again, this will prove him, just like the false prophets of the past. He is a foolish man that only believes himself to be wise, and he is the one that they listen to. He is their, their grand counsel, the one that they believe they should listen to, and again, this last election cycle completely disproved his top-down versus bottom-up authoritarianism uh, theory. So he is already being proven to be a foolish man who only thinks himself wise. Stay in the word, people. I won't elaborate on this too much because it, it goes very, very deep. But that's your unclean frog spirit as it relates to the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet spoken of in Revelation 16. Y'all be sure to stay in the word, the Holy Bible. It is the only truth, and it can predict the outcome every time with 100% accuracy. Just as it says in Isaiah 46, verse 9 and 10, God tells the end from the beginning with 100% accuracy. God bless.